Yes, folks, I got a hacksaw, and I got a cheap trumpet here. I got one off of eBay, and um, you really don't have to go out and get a cheap trumpet. I just, this is like 60 bucks off of eBay, one of the Chinese made horns, but um, this is really uh, practical if you have an old horn or an old student horn that's just kind of sitting around collecting dust and you're an active player, um, then what I'm going to show you is going to work out pretty well for you. We're going to be in the process of making Viking valves, and these are valves that you can use when you're wasting time in traffic at a red light or stuck in traffic, or when you're sitting around watching sports or news or weather or Netflix or a movie or, you know, or watching a YouTube, watching this video, you could be actually increasing your finger strength and speed. So I'm going to be sawing this trumpet. The reason I want to saw the trumpet, there's no reason that I couldn't just have the trumpet around, you know, except for the fact if I keep it in the car, this is very conspicuous and someone's likely to break in and, uh, you know, break into the car. The other thing is, especially if you're in the car, this is, you know, I do practice sometimes while I'm driving, but it, it is a, you know, there is a risk. So if you can slice all this down to here and here, that could easily fit in your glove department or under your seat, or you could put it on, on your seat with a, you know, a towel on it, no one would ever see it. So that's the whole um, philosophy here of Viking valves. So let's see, I think that I already had looked at it, kind of eyeballed it, that right around here was going to be a pretty good spot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start sawing here right there that didn't take but wow less than a minute there's saw right through that thing now I'm gonna go ahead and start on right across to the bell it doesn't have to be even um, this isn't, isn't gonna be for show anywhere progress boom popping off maybe this guy's just gonna pop off let's just see probably will weakens the brace on it ah hey, hey, hey. it's very low tech folks high tech you could get a drum and get one of those little carbide blades and this would I like doing things old school and putting some elbow grease behind it boom oh that guy couldn't wait to get off there could it look how things are shaping up folks oh yeah Yes. Come on, baby. Woo! That guy just spun off there. Boom! Woo! Woo! All right. Might as well take that out. I like how this is turning out. The thing is shaping up, baby. Probably just take this off right now. Don't need to saw through two pieces of metal if we don't have to. Now we're down to this. 
I am going to leave this here because I'm used to playing with a, um, you know, a thumb saddle or a thumb hook, whatever you want to call it. And so I think I'm just going to leave that there. It's not a big deal. Um, let's see, do I need to really leave these here? No, not really. No. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off here. And what will be left, I do want to leave this part of the lead pipe because I'm a firm believer that a lot of times, especially to have better even fingers, uh, you don't want to have your, your thumb hooked up here and you don't want to do the claw or the popsicle sticks. You want to have that nice arch like there. And so I'm going to leave this here so I can put my thumb between the first and second valve casings. First, second, third, so the thumb goes right there underneath the lead pipe. All right, so let me finish this guy off and see what we got. He put up a good fight. I'm winning, baby. Yes. She's done. Whew. All right. Whew. Look at that. Got me a little sweat going. Yep, we're getting there. Boom. One left. Whew. I'm probably going to get some steel wool from Lowe's or Home Depot or even Walmart and just kind of go around these rough edges. You know, so I'm not cutting myself up. And now you got Viking valves. Isn't that cute? So you can practice your um, easy combinations like this. A to B flat or E to F. Um, a to B natural. Tighten this up a little bit. Those are all the easy ones, right? Then the harder ones you would go to, let's see, like um, E to C sharp. Or the third finger. Um, D to E. And then I think the hardest one is B to C sharp, low B to C sharp. Uh, to work all the fingers and work really the, the, the whole hand is just C sharp or C natural. And you can kind of work this to the metronome so you can keep track of your speed. And uh, look how cute this little guy is. Uh, <laughs> it, this would easily fit in my glove department in the car. Uh, but it's not going to definitely you know take up any room, put it right in the arm of the couch. And... Uh, so again, these are Viking valves, and they will help you increase your finger speed and dexterity and coordination. So if you want to do it on the cheap, you get you a cheap horn off of eBay for $40, $50, $60. You spend $7 at the Home Depot and get one of these hacksaws. And this whole, this whole thing, I timed it, took me about 25 minutes and a little bit of sweat. I don't know if you can see that. No tears, um, just some decent sweat. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit glossy right now. So just sweat, no blood or tears, just sweat to make the Viking valves. And this would actually almost be free if you had a horn that you're just not using around the house. First, you don't want to do anything to a good horn, but a Bundy, um, a Bach TR-300, a Cleveland King, um, an old con that's not one of the you know collectible cons, uh, anything like that or any kind of Chinese made horn that's just sitting there as a student made horn and the valves are still good you almost can do this for free why not now if you don't have a horn lying around and you don't want to put the muscle in it like I did like you saw me break a sweat there are some um, devices like this I know in music stores on the market um, I'm trying to remember what they cost I think it's like right under a hundred bucks something like that but um, why not have one for free and why not be on your way to really working that third finger? Third finger is a weak link, baby. Check that out. You could be doing this while you're sitting in traffic instead of yelling at the next driver or, or give him the bird. You could be doing this. Take that, driver. It's called trumpet rage when you're in the car. Keep the road rage down to the minimum. Work that third finger and that'll get rid of all the road rage out of you. I'll see you next time. Viking Bells.
Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson and welcome to my channel. That's youtube.com slash your brass instructor. Thanks for just watching the video that you did. Maybe it's the first one that you've watched or maybe you've watched tons of my videos. In fact, as of June 2016, as a brass player and trumpet player, I have the most tutorials free on the planet. I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel currently, all free. So again, thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Sometimes I make a video just to make you laugh. A lot of times I make a video to educate you on something and maybe even help solve a problem. So I hope something like that occurred for you in this video. And while you're at it, again, subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.